This podcast contains adult themes, sexual content, and strong language. If you can't handle that, you should probably leave. Hi, and welcome to Bustles and Bangers with your hostess, Rachel and Christopher. I love it when you say my name. Behind this baby and these nice war chapters. Man, like, I just want you to know how much I suffer. All right. This is like the secret ending, the alternate ending. It already <laughs> ended. It didn't. It didn't. So we're on episode four of a it three didn't. episode book. Think Twilight. No, I don't want to think about <laughs> But backwards. Okay. No. <laughs> and a little mixed up in the middle. That's what this is. But with a Viking. We're going to get to learn about the. the the room with the <laughs> trains and cars and candy yeah. and yeah. Yeah. model airplanes and whatever the hell else he had in there. Yeah. Well. All right. <clears throat> Chapter 13 of The Billionaire's Baby Negotiation by Millie Adams. This is our fourth and last episode of this book for Bustles and Bangers with Rachel and Christopher. And uh, Olive mm -hmm. of the infamous Olive and Gunner pair. Infamous. <laughs> She says, I look like a Russian trophy wife. Well, guess at, what? <laughs> as she settled back into the leather armchair on the plane, one booted foot stuck out in front of her. She was wearing spiked heels and a camel color and a long white jacket with a furry white hat perched atop her head. He thought she looked soft and far more delicious than any woman had a right to, but he could also see Russian trophy wife. Well, as of next week, you will be my trophy wife. The idea of being your trophy sticks in a particularly, she made a stabbing motion with her hand, rough place. <laughs> it doesn't tell you where she made that motion. So you right at her. You decide where her rough place is. Yeah, <laughs> I right don't at know. a rough place. <laughs> to the victor goes the spools. In this case, I suppose the public notary. What? <laughs> Notoriety, sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like I that was, was like, very Wait, confusing. No. Millie, I need to you get some clarification on this one. <laughs> I need some papers signed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get to the freaky stuff. <laughs> there's, there's no freaky stuff. <laughs> no, there's not. But I put a wiggly <laughs> line next to this, so that means it's more interesting than All anything right, else. The wiggly line. Sorry. Here yeah, we go. and there are notes. Oh, my notes say blah, 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 social media, blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next page. <laughs> We're skipping that page. Um, so they are talking about what people are going to think, I guess. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that they're, they people think they're the evil 1% conspiring to take over the world with this present merger. Uh -huh. The wedding is obviously fake. We are aliens. We don't marry. Yep, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I admit that is a slightly more interesting take than what I expected. There's more. I told you I don't read these kinds of things. That's Gunner. But I do. Welcome to marriage. She grabbed her phone and sat up scrolling through something. He didn't know what. Oh, my God. It's like a rom-com. Enemies to lovers. What the hell does that mean? Oh, I don't know. But somebody said it on social media site. Therefore, it's news. She continued to read. For sure, she is getting the better end of the deal. I hear that his broadsword is the size of... What is this garbage? There was something about this. The size this. of what? <laughs> How big is your broadsword? <laughs> There was something about this that worked its way deeply beneath his skin. No one knew him. He didn't allow it. And all these people were talking about him as if they could. He <laughs> My phone was trying to listen to you. <laughs> if he would have ever allowed anyone to know him, it might have been Olive. I believe broadsword is a euphemism for your... I'm aware of what it's a euphemism for. Ego. What I don't <laughs> understand ego. is why. Why do people concern themselves with these things? Because we want to know. I want to know. <clears throat> yeah. So then they're blah, blah, blah. Is that a broadsword? You got a pet hog. Social media and blah, blah, blah. People chat. They like to do it. It makes them feel connected. See, this is the thing you missed. You make technology, but you failed to see the ways in which it can make beautiful things. You like to make functional things. People discussing a stranger's penis is hardly beautiful. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. I beg to differ. That is, that is amazing. <laughs> that is the most 
sensuous, most beautiful, <laughs> most purest thing we've ever experienced. All right. <clears throat> He grunted and leaned back in his chair. I'm serious. Think about it. What is the public internet shaming, if not the stocks and pillories? Shaming? How big is it? <clears throat> and ostracizing of somebody for violating the way the group perceives morality. It's what we've always done. Computers don't change that. I mean, that's the thing. I understand why you think something like this is silly or even harmful, but I just think it's human nature. We bring it with us wherever we go, and we bring it into modern technology. You're much more fascinated by the intracities of human behavior than I am. I make products and if they are useful people will buy them that is all i don't need to understand the concept of public shaming to know that okay i hear you <clears throat> but are you bitching because it's small and you don't want them to know <laughs> or are you like no they don't need to know how, wink how, because of my how, ego yeah, how dare they discuss it yeah. i think that maybe we're found your flaw he gunner sh- but they already did it before we heard about that it was D- decent I guess to her, she's never been with a man. Right. <gasps> Is that why it's one time lovers for him all the time? Because mm-hmm. they don't want to come That's right. Back? I have lovers. And he's weird. And he has no he friends like because he to... knows his friends would make fun of his little dick. It's because he picks his nose. That's why he doesn't have friends. I think that we're finding out. And that's why he has to play with all friends, the toys He and doesn't shit. have friends because his dick is little. That's sad. <laughs> why do they care? It's like a whale who can't make the right noises. <laughs> so they spend their whole life alone. His horn's too small. Oh, my God. She liked it, though. It got her pregnant. That doesn't mean that it can't get somebody pregnant. Well, and he's got a lot of money. You just leave these babies there with a whole go. bunch of money, and then you got a bunch of multimillionaire and, army. And then you say stuff like, tell him my dick was huge. <laughs> get on my broad, talk about my broadsword. Broad <clears throat> They're like, he has a very unimpressive broadsword. Yeah. So, anyway, they're talking about green energy. Uh, and I said in a note, oh, my God, why so much crying? Because <laughs> they're just <laughs> whining back and forth to each other about themselves. Um, they're both not. They're both egotistical. Because it's like, too. for me, acceptable is only getting the contract my father wanted. And that's it's changing inside of me all the time as things the baby? as they change. As I think about what kind of mother I want to be. She looked at him her gaze dewy i had a realization or it skimmed past me yesterday and just now it's the beginning to bloom into a full-on epiphany my father loved his company more than he ever loved me for me it was about loving him (laughs) so anyway that's a lot of that that's how this goes on for four chapters that's that's what? what's what happening. You, mean? you had a dad? And so then it goes to Gunner, and that was all that was Olive, and now Gunner is like, I don't know why my father did the things he did. He was a man with more money than God. He could have lived well and been decent. I will never understand him. But I know I why I wanted to take control of Magnum and turn it into something better than he ever did. Why? To prove I'm better, to prove that he was wrong, to prove that he is nothing. <laughs> money. To prove I'm not the same. Revenge? If I'd sought revenge, I would have done it while he was alive. I want more than Wait. revenge. I want to make a change. Did, did he kill his dad? Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but this is very like superhero conversation stuff, like the, the boring parts of the movie. Yeah, he, <clears throat> he practices this like, all the time. I am Gunner. I am, I am Gunner. Magnum. I'm Magnus, son. <laughs> uh, yeah, what is it? Gunner Ragnarok or something? <laughs> That's his dad, right? I don't know, yeah. All right. Uh, The name like that, dude. So he's talking, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, that seems very Viking of you. And he goes, you seem to have a preoccupation with Vikings. Her cheeks went red. Well, it's just, it's just, I like, I like medieval Viking romance novels. (laughs) So (laughs) you mentioned this before. I cannot believe romance stories about Viking, Vikings exist. I find them to be diverting. Vikings specifically Yes, but they were raiders, pillagers. More often than not, they would simply take women captive rather than marry them. Oh, this is all starting to make sense now. How exactly can that be a romance? He lifted a brow and regarded her closely. He did not know why her answer seemed suddenly important. Wow, Gunner, I cannot imagine why the story of a woman who is forced into a life against her will and must find softness and pleasure in it in spite of circumstances she will never be fully in control over would appeal to me. Mm. And he didnn't say anything. He said, "Oh, Beha- must be a woman thing." And he walked <laughs> off oblivious to the whole thing. Get back in the kitchen. Yeah, get back in there. <laughs> Why are you out here? 
He supposed that at the moment she felt trapped by him, but he could not let her go. Of course not. Then he would lose. He would not. They would be married next week in a wedding that was certain to be the media spectacle of the decade, and she would simply have to continue to live in her world of romance novels and whatever else she might need. He was not a man who could make a different choice than this, Mm -hmm. and he could only indulge her so far. He Mm -hmm. looked at her, all of her softness, and he ate. Ached. But he could only indulge her so much. Once had not been enough, but soon enough she would be his bride. And then, then he would have her. Raiders, pillagers, was he any different? Hmm. He had not imagined that he was a Viking, but in that moment he felt as if he were. The conqueror, quite eager to take the conquered, except he looked at the stubborn line of her jaw, and she glanced at him out of the corner of her eye. No, Olive would never be conquered. Instead, it would be a battle every day forever. (laughs) 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 And he ignored the tightening of excitement in his gut at the thought of that. Oh. Mm. Let me tell you. They're literally going to argue and hate each other the rest of their lives. But they're never allowed to to divorce. And they had, they've they've already had sex. So... They don't that's need it done. anymore. And they made yeah. a baby. And they don't need, and so, so that's over. You don't need if you're not trying to have babies, don't be having So then sex. it's just fighting now. <laughs> yeah, that's all there is to it. Like all right. uh, you burnt the toast. Well, your <laughs> eggs taste like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Be... Chapter 14. You're a slob. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah. If it comes out a girl, though, they'll have to try again for an heir to the company in the name. No, what year is this? I don't know. They don't do that anymore. <clears throat> New enough to have cell phone, media, social media. Yeah, they don't do that anymore. 2000s. All right. <clears throat> By the time they landed in New York, it felt as if the entire internet had exploded. Rumors about their affair and how long it had been going on about the wedding and who would be on the guest list. But they should have no issues getting a raft of celebrities to attend it. It was exactly the sort of thing that they loved to be seen at, something that made them look smart and tied into a world that had nothing to do with the entertainment industry, and something that would make her and Gunner look even more like the Illuminati, which mm. kind of amused her. She was looking forward to going back to her apartment but they didn't go there in fact they didn't even go into the city Mm. instead she found herself in the back of a limousine on a winding road that led she didn't know where why I don't know All right. isn't she supposed to be getting married yeah she's gonna go see somebody else (laughs) they're gonna murder her in a cabin in the woods Wedding was She's like, all I had to get this out of my system. They're before gonna say I got she married. jumped. <laughs> oh, this is where he's gonna murder her. Yeah, <laughs> the cabin in the woods. Okay. It became clear when a large home came into view. You have a house. Um, she hadn't huh. known that he had a place other than his New York penthouse in the states. I bought a house, he said. You you just bought this. Yes, I thought that it would make a wonderful wedding present to you, and we could set up a nursery here. You must admit, right in the heart of downtown hardly feels appropriate place to have a baby. Mm-hmm. As if you have any idea what to do with the baby, she said. I didn't say that I did. However, I do feel that I can confidently say this is a better place to raise a child. Well, your cliffside home is definitely not the most child-friendly. Can you imagine if a baby got outside there? This Wait, I is- thought she thought he only had one house. <clears throat> Yeah, the penthouse. He has a cliffside well, house knows. in New York? No. <laughs> I don't think so. No, the penthouse in New York. Then that's all she knew he had. Then she found out he had the cliffside house in Iceland. Now he's bought a home in like the outskirts around the city. Mm-hmm. Troy is a kid. <clears throat> this is silly. In Iceland, we simply teach children. Whatever. In America, we put leashes on them. Anyway, you probably should have Hell talked yeah. to me about <laughs> buying a house that we're going to live in. Why? I wish for you to get used to exactly how this relationship is going it's to work. It's literally like buying a pack of gum at Walmart. You think you're in charge? She looked at him, and she didn't feel trapped. She didn't even feel particularly angry, but she was. Oh, she was. Oh, my God. But you need to. Well, be... they're supposed to fight about everything now, right? Because yeah. I, so she's like, "This yeah, is ugly. I yeah. hate the floor plan." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the colors yeah. atrocious. She's like, "He's like, I bought you a house for a wedding present." She goes, "This is it's atrocious. It's too small. I hate it. It's, it's too, too large. <laughs> a baby will never be happy it here. Smells. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many trees. Mm. 
They're still arguing. <laughs> you make me sound like a petty child. As I said, I did not need to prove that I was better than you. I would simply not be able to rest knowing that I had not been the best if that was my goal. I'm I was driving the best out on this <laughs> shitty house. I was happy always when you had the better product and won. It was fair. <laughs> Weird to have a harmony in our home. I can't do this. Oh. So, okay, but families aren't companies, she said. And when you marry me, Gunner, you are going to be my family. So anyway, she actually gets him at this point. It's just true. We are going to be a family. And I think we need to, we need to not look at it like a business. But she's all over here like being super nasty, like mean all the time. Well, right. Because everything else is done. I and know. he said he couldn't wait for it. So. Oh, you're my family. He's yeah. enjoying this. All right. He says your room is upstairs and down the very end of the hall. You're making a pregnant woman go upstairs. <laughs> Are we to have separate bedrooms? He looked at her, his eyes molten. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you wanted. Of course, I should not like to take your space from you. <coughs> or maybe he just didn't want her. And what did she want? That's what she, she wanted said. Well, him, want but me. he was such a complicated man. <clears throat> what do you want, Gunner? What do you want from me? <laughs> Do you want simply to be husband and wife and bump around this giant house together? Do you want, do you want me? I don't understand. You seem to want to turn me into something else. And as much as I kind of love this outfit. <laughs> I really hate the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> this house sucks, Gunner. Go sell it and get a new one. We're not getting married until you do. <laughs> My makeup's getting messed up again. <laughs> Okay, wait. He's just sitting there cussing at the ceiling. Are you throwing me in these things to change me or is it simply to get at me? This is the thing. You know me. I think you might know me better than anyone else on earth. I thought I knew you. I'm trying to know you, but I wonder if I do even a little, even at all. He moved toward her then fire in his eyes. He backed her up against the wall there in the entry and there it was her Viking marauder. <laughs> 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 And then she said, you have something on your teeth. You smell bad. <laughs> he reached back and she said, oh, what are you going to do? Hit me now? <laughs> you going to punch a pregnant lady in your house, Gunner? Oh, my God. We're not laughing at that. That's Sell it. Okay, don't do it. Sell it, Gunner. I hate this place. <laughs> Storms out. It made her heart throb with desire made that place between her legs ache. What? What place? Her butt? <laughs> <laughs> Millie, you leaving it open to my imagination is not okay. That's why you don't read these books. <laughs> I told you I feel like a 12 year old all the time. <laughs> Dude, I was reading this at work today and somebody else was walking through and I like put it down real quick and got to my computer. Reading filthy like, novels oh, no. at the office. Yeah, I was like, oh no, I've been caught. That's pretty funny. Oh my God. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Where do you want, Gunner? <laughs> All right. Yes, her soul whispered, take me. Because that would make sense. It would make sense because she wanted him. But you won't because you're a bitch, Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you do not wish to be strangers in the house together? I should have thought that would be your liking. I should have thought that it would make things easier. Nothing makes this easier. <laughs> but at least she didn't know if she wanted to shame herself like this. At least if there's this, she reached out and put her hand on his chest. And she found herself being pulled toward him. This is just sex. It wasn't, though. Because if it was only sex, it would have eased by now or faded slightly, but there was none of that. Instead, it came alive with an intensity that threatened to destroy everything else. We were going to name it. We're, we're going to name it Dalton. <laughs> threatened to burn her where she stood. Is the baby? <laughs> oh, my God. 
This all is right. why this is why all the Nordic gods ate their children. <laughs> They're worried about the same <laughs> shit. Yes. She desperately didn't want to be alone, but she waited, waited for him to break because she needed him to waited for him to break because it was the assurance that she needed because she needed control. She needed power, even while she needed for him to claim her to brand her. And then I was oh. like, yeah. So, you know, moving on. A lack of control, a flaw in their personal system. <clears throat> but it could not be denied, nor could it be controlled. He gripped her face, shoving Oh, my God. <laughs> this is I've had enough of your fucking mouth. <laughs> well, remember, they're close to each other. Right. right. It's just like, you're going like, to take this fucking house. You're gonna I thought like you it. wanted to be strangers. All right. Um Shoving his fingers through her hair, Dang. pushing the fur hat off her head and onto the floor. She had chosen the outfit to be deliberately ridiculous, <laughs> soft when she normally went for severe. But she had to admit she sort of loved the hat and the boots and the coat. But all she wanted was to get it all off now. Because it's such she, a dirty house. She, <laughs> she wanted there to the, be the nothing. Hat, the hat hits the ground. She goes, ew. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted there to be nothing between them, no barriers, nothing. She wanted to give herself over to him entirely to, to surrender to this him. And he kissed her and he kissed her as if there was no particular hurry and a ticking clock all at once. He kissed her, his tongue sliding against hers, his big rough hands moving <laughs> over oh, yeah. her body. I forgot his big rough she hands. She loved to feel, she loved the feel of him. She loved everything about him. And the real problem was she had always loved Gunner more than she'd ever loved her company. And that realization nearly made her knees <clears throat> buckle, but it was true. He fascinated her, bewitched her, beguiled her, and had shaped her every fantasy from the first moment she began to have them. But, yeah, okay. By feeding her cupcakes. That was the first <laughs> fantasy, right? How thick is she? <laughs> <laughs> How often do they meet? How many cupcakes is she eating? Maybe in he a likes week? it like that. So he's just like, here. Hey, here, baby. Here. It's like when you give me bologna sandwiches. Yeah. You know, I haven't had any in a long time. It makes your tits real big. Yeah. All right. So. <clears throat> He was the spark to her flame, and she knew that, and it was enough. The man who could keep up with her, who could challenge her. She respected his mind, his drive. He was her equal, but even better than that, he was a mystery as well. Mm. And that was fascinating more than anything had ever been. <laughs> this... <laughs> These people in their heads. And she began to greedily strip away the layers of his clothing as he kissed her, as he licked into her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're what? like, yeah, you go up to like put your nose in your dog's and nose and they lick the inside of your mouth. Like, like, hey, buddy. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, puppy. And they lick the inside yeah. of your mouth yeah. while you're <laughs> saying <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 Oh, puppies. All right. So he gripped her chin and her hair, forcing her head back and taking the kiss impossibly deep. She moaned, writhing up against his body. He picked her up from where they stood and carried her from the entryway. <coughs> excuse me. Mm -hmm. into me. a living area where there was a plush wide couch it did not look as if it was especially made for sitting but rather it was, was made for something like this porn studio mm. type. <laughs> that's right. what it really is black and round with ample space for how athletic she knew the sex was between them she had never really considered herself an athlete but he made her want to endeavor to be one no <laughs> like what like you want to go for a jog I'm now? so like, horny I could run 12 I miles I could do a marathon <laughs> I, I gotta go get in the pool yeah <laughs> like I need a what? shot put ball and a javelin. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> so at least he made her happy enough to exert herself where typically she found that sort of thing overrated. There was nothing overrated about this. She could honestly say that for all the big deal people made out of sex, she could see why. 10 out of 10 would recommend. She Fuck say yeah, it says that. I underlined Dang. it and I said, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, all right, girl. I'm hearing you. Now, this had to be written recently. <laughs> what if he was poor? <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have ever been in the same room. Oh, it's a zero out of ten, huh? He's going to lose all his money. That's why he's trying to buy it per company. Like, yeah. Real quick. <laughs> like, I'm over leveraged and we're getting ready to get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> 
I got margin call last weekend, and I, <laughs> I need to. Uh, We're scoop not gonna up. make it. Yeah, I we need, it. we have to get married now. <laughs> Kidnap you to Iceland, and I'll convince you that's my baby. The debt is your debt. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> he like helicopters away. <laughs> Just drops the ticket. Sucker. <laughs> Gunner Magnus and Ragnarok. Yeah. Well, never my name. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Dang. Okay, where was I? He's gonna do olive like that. He's gonna drop a cupcake. <laughs> Boop, there you go, olive. It's gonna be a bomb. Oh, dang. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to the sexy. <clears throat> And then she couldn't think any more because Gunner was methodically stripping her clothes from her body, licking his way across all of her skin, teasing her, tormenting Oliver. her. <laughs> Olive and all of her skin. <laughs> that was a good one, Millie. We liked it. <laughs> he turned. I can't get back sexy. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. <clears throat> you gotta bring sexy back. <laughs> You set it up perfectly, dude. <laughs> oh, and that's why they pay you the big bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. He turned her over onto her knees and wrapped his arm around her waist, lifting her up. Then she heard the sound of his belt buckle coming in. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls off his belt, starts smacking her on the ass. I was like, like, You're going like, to like this <laughs> fucking house. You're going to like this fucking house, Olive. <laughs> I've already bought it. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere like that. All right. <clears throat> Where are we? He's smacking her on the ass <laughs> with his belt, stop. saying, All of you are going to like that. She house. felt the blunt head of his arousal pressed against the entrance to her body and blunt she moaned. Is flat. <laughs> <laughs> what? It won't go in. <laughs> <laughs> I tried and tried. I just couldn't get it. <laughs> now, now they're even stuck oral only for the rest of their marriage. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> How did he get her pregnant? First? I think it's funny that you said it sucks after that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to make it. <laughs> no. Why did I put makeup on? <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess I'm doing that. Oh, my God. Okay. We're not, we're not on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. It just makes me feel better. It makes me look alive. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. You were at, you I like this know. house, Olive. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, I missed some stuff. No, did I? No, he's putting his blunt dick in her. He's trying to, he's trying to <laughs> shove himself <laughs> in. Uh, no, there was a part. Let me just skip back real quick. I just want to read this one a little. She undid the buttons of his shirt, pushed it and his jacket down onto the floor. She gloried in the broad expanse of his chest, the hair there, the sculpted <laughs> muscles. Right, Johnny Bravo. His glowing. <laughs> she moved her fingertips down to skim his abdominal muscles, and she whimpered. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're past the blunt head of his arousal. And... He slid into her slowly from behind the new position, making things unbearably tight, making her feel so full. He gripped her hips, a short curse on his lips as he began to thrust hard into her body. She loved this. <laughs> what is it? She loved this? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> this animalistic passion that created in them something entirely new. Gunner. She found his name. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done better, but I'm still She's trying like, not to laugh. I, I still just sell the house. <laughs> um, all of these. All of. She knew that he was with her. She I knew. love all of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Um, she knew that he was as much enslaved by this as she was, how she loved him. And it made her cry out because it was a terrible thing to love him, a horrible thing. And yet it was the inevitable thing. It was fate. She couldn't deny it. He had always and only ever been the one man for her. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> This moment had been written for her long before. <laughs> You're going to do a sponsor <laughs> ad right there. This moment brought to you by <laughs> Billionaire Babies. Looking oh, at for you. Speaking <laughs> of, though, we would love some fun sponsors to put in there. Because yeah. I had an idea, but I can't say their name. <laughs> no, no. But they make condoms. <laughs> So that would be perfect. Yeah. A perfect sponsor. So hello, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> so this moment had been written for her for <laughs> long before she had ever picked up a romance novel, except the problem was she wasn't sure she would get her happy ending. Oh, <laughs> dang. I want to pull up behind a stake and shake and have you jerk me off. <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. All mm. right. He, would, <laughs> he was a man of integrity. He yeah, would he marry was. her. He would keep his word. Uh, and that was what scared her. He didn't love her. He didn't love her. And what was she supposed to do with the knowledge that he would not, could not, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So. Nobody gets married because they love them. Uh, Gunner, she moaned when the large head of him scraped up against something Ooh. sensitive and glorious inside of her. Scraped? <laughs> it's got a curve. Up. Is yeah, this that's what it blunt? says. Yeah. Dang. That it's is. weird. Um, and she began to tremble, began to shake. She wasn't going to be able to hold out for much longer. Her desire overwhelming her, a thunderstorm of need. He gripped her hips hard, and she hoped. She desperately hoped that he would leave bruises behind. Oh. She wanted to be able to look at herself and see that she was as physically changed as she was emotionally. Takes he, like, cuts her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls on it, cuts it. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm he wrong. like gave her a tattoo while they were doggy style. Like now you're changed. He, like tattoos his name. <laughs> All right, this man. This man. <laughs> All right. She felt as if he had grabbed a loose thread of hers once long ago and had been pulling it ever since. And now she was threadbare, worn, and desperately trying to cover herself up. And yet it was the beauty of it, the utter beauty, her brokenness, the places where she could no longer hide. This whole, <clears throat> the doctor still has not confirmed this pregnancy or returned with the results, right? I'm still worried about him. No, wait. Did we skip that part? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking baby's his. Oh, okay. Yeah, you never told us. <laughs> maybe it's... Maybe... <laughs> <laughs> maybe I haven't yet. No, I swear to God. That guy already came. I don't know nah, how he Nah, he ran out there. the mountains and he was climbing back up. And we never <laughs> heard, never heard from him again. Then my note taking isn't great. I probably skipped Maybe like a Yeti got him. <laughs> I probably skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares about this guy. He's a frozen popsicle. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's, he's a done. duck-sicle. He's gone. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> mm, now, apparently, I've written a, a note that says, what the fuck? So <laughs> this has got to be good. Mm. Oh. <laughs> All right. Mm. She lowered her head to the velvet couch and pressed her face into it, balling her hands into fists and shuddering out her pleasure while he suddenly growled out his own. <laughs> yes, he she said, whispered. Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> he said his own name. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck with that for life. Wow. <clears throat> yes, she whispered. She you're Gunner. That's your name. <laughs> 
<laughs> everything. She wanted it all, everything he could ever be, everything they could ever be. And when it was done, he pulled away from her and he began straightening himself as if it hadn't just dissolved the two of them. It is good that there is attraction between us, he said, his tone sounding remote. And she felt devastated because it was more than attraction. It was more than chemistry. It changed her. Changed her. Maybe we won't need separate rooms. I imagine it will be good for you to have your space. (laughs) Dang. Yeah. Damn. All right. So, and what she heard inarguably and inequivocally was that he wanted his own space away from her. And that was fine. It was. She had to accept him. And if she couldn't do that, then tears filled her eyes. But she turned herself away quickly to avoid allowing him to see. Our things have been moved in already. You really are efficient, she said. <clears throat> <laughs> the, the movers packed the whole empty house or we were banging. <laughs> he said, there's no point doing anything if it's not done efficiently. Even screwing your fiance, I guess. He lifted a brow. Have you a complaint? I'm not complaining. It felt wonderful. But nothing. I hate the house. We already (laughs) talked about this. Get our shit out of here. She would not say that she loved him because she had a feeling that it would be the most cardinal sin. And yet, if he really felt nothing, why would it matter? So she said nothing. So she kept it all in her own heart, kept it all to herself, because what would be the point of any of it? I guess I'll go to my room then. Yes, that sounds a good idea. You are likely tired. <laughs> After that boning you just took <laughs> from Gunner. <laughs> and then you're like, wah, 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 wah. Like, <laughs> I fucked you so hard she had to take a nap. <laughs> Yes, that sounds a good idea. Oh, yeah. Nope, that's him. It sounds a good idea. You're likely tired. She really resented him telling her what she was, what she felt, especially in light of everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. We're still not to a new chapter. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I skipped these pages. Good. <gasps> I skipped these pages. Oh, I skipped the whole thing. <laughs> We're done. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. It's chapter 15, and there's one more chapter after that. <sighs> Let's do it. So, so did they actually like finish up there, or did they just <laughs> like stop having sex? <laughs> um, they sat there, and I don't know. Did they play chess or something? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, dang! I can't believe you care. They're talking about chocolate cupcakes again. Okay, never mind. And Keep then their fathers. Oh, you skipped all and that. About yeah, be, okay. yeah, he did not believe in spoiling me, which meant to him not giving me any softness. No, I don't care about any he of that. He left me locked in my room for large swaths of time. Swaths. 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 Primarily from the time I was 12 to 14. After that, he began to take me to different events. If I didn't perform the way he wanted me to, there would be consequences. So it really is sad about Gunners. He, he was probably <laughs> just like... Pal, <laughs> like that. We got to go no. outside and throw a baseball, and they're like, tch, tch, and his dad's like, "Look, you can't be all this." And as an adult, he's like, "It traumatized me." He might as well have hit me. You want to know why? <laughs> well, my dick's blood. <laughs> when he threw the baseball one time, <laughs> hit me in the wiener. Hey, my dad. And now it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not genetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my dad has a perfect old dick. Ragnarok Gunnarsson's this is perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, stop. We gotta finish this. I'm not telling any more jokes to you through this fucking book. Okay. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, he actually does have a sad past. They learn about that's mm. why he wants his toys. Yada yada yada. So, yeah. <laughs> I, oh. <clears throat> I was traumatized, so I need my toys. Um, uh, I don't know if I need to fill any blanks yet, but hold on. That's no, all good. Keep the going. lead up to the wedding was intense. Yeah, they already had sex, didn't they? Hold on. But well handled. <laughs> 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 If there was one thing that he and Olive knew, it was how to delegate. 
and how to formulate a plan. The two of them together... They certainly didn't know how to work. <laughs> the setting this into motion made it seem satisfyingly easy. Watching all of the pieces work in time with each other really was incredibly satisfying. And he... He found that he liked the way that Olive and he worked together. They had been sparring against each other for so many years that he had not been aware of the fact that the two of them could create something so spectacular when they used their gifts in tandem. Yeah, like a wedding <coughs> or a but, baby. Uh, <laughs> 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 but, but Olive was particularly brilliant at getting the best out of people. She excelled with team management and with aesthetics. She was a hard worker and she knew how to adjust things to make them just that much more special, just that much more pleasing to the eye. He was good with mechanics, with the way things ran and how they would work. He was good at organizing tasks. They complement each other in a way that he could never have foreseen. And the day of the wedding, <clears throat> excuse me. They probably have chocolate cupcake. It was like, <laughs> a chocolate cupcake mountain. <laughs> mountain. And the day of the wedding, she made herself scarce, texting him about how it was bad luck for the groom to see the bride. He had also not been with her again since that first day they had moved into the new house, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> biblical sense. <laughs> their encounter on the sofa had been incendiary. And he had nearly been undone by it altogether. The moment in the nursery had been something else entirely. He could not quite understand this thing that she did to him. He could not quite understand what it was <laughs> she made pregnancy. him. <laughs> For he was accustomed to having a sexual appetite, but he was not accustomed to being controlled by it. He was not accustomed to being at its mercy, but when she stood there looking up at him as she had, it had been outside of his power to resist. He had kissed her when they'd first arrived because he had no other choice. He had kissed her because he had been unable to stop himself. She was all the things brilliant and beautiful, but it was more than that. He had had any number of beautiful women he could go out today and get more even if they knew it was his wedding maybe most especially if they knew <laughs> He's like, and you know what this sounds like a pretty damn good idea in <laughs> Let's fact go all if you go to the wedding i'll be back <laughs> but they would never be olive and they would never do to him what she did she fascinated him what'd she do to him <laughs> she's <laughs> making him feel bad about everything <laughs> thanks for the house <laughs> They were marrying outdoors at a massive estate because Olive had said it would be atmospheric and she wished to embrace that over to tradition. <clears throat> he deferred to her because she had been right about many things all along, so why not that? The guests were all there, seated and looking appropriately like the sort of people that should be at a wedding that united two of the largest tech moguls in the entire world. The performance was impeccable. <clears throat> As he stood there and waited for his bride, he felt the sense of performance begin to slip away. His parents had never married. It was one reason he felt so strongly about this. He had never known his mother, but her parents, they had been warm and wonderful people. They had been the only real taste of family he'd ever had. Nothing... No, no, no. And then Olive appeared in his vision, walking across the grass between the chairs, and he nearly laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, she's gonna love this. She's gonna get to the altar. I'm gonna give her a chocolate cupcake. And be like, Psych! Just imagine her face. Yeah, I'm not gonna marry you. She Olive. was not wearing black, but she was wearing a white wedding dress with long sleeves and a, an extremely high neck. Wait, hold on. S she wasn't wearing black. Well, remember, but he's she was like, like <laughs> isn't that what you're supposed to wear? Thought, away? Yeah, but he, I think he thought that she would be snarky. With I think it he's or whatever. dumbass. <clears throat> yeah. Well, here, listen. But remember, he didn't like the way she used to dress, and da, da, da. Well, he didn't like anything about her. He's made that pretty clear through this book. It was elegant and perfect, like the rest of her, but also and arguably shaped like her preferred black turtlenecks. It was essentially her to make that reference, perhaps one that only he would understand, and she would make it slyly all the same. She was holding a large bouquet of flowers, all in fall colors, her brown hair down and curling, swept to the side over her shoulder. She had never looked more beautiful. When she arrived at the front, she had no bridesmaids to hand her bouquet to, so she turned to the crowd and cheerfully tossed it out. There was a minor celebrity in the third row who caught it and screamed excitedly. 
a minor celebrity. <clears throat> Damn. Ouch. A C-lister. Ouch. Her tech. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> it, was a, it was a host from Bustles and Bangers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're All like right. E-list celebrities. <laughs> Whatever. I just like being on a list. I appreciate Especially this newsletter we keep getting put out there on. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a newsletter. <laughs> Everybody, look out for the Rogue Media Network newsletter where you can see our faces. <laughs> All right, so, oh yes, Olive was wonderful at a spectacle. She knew how to command attention. She always had. Her tech presentations where she debuted the, damn, her (laughs) tech presentations where she debuted the year's new technology for Ambient had been huge events for the last few years, building in popularity each and every time. She was just that way, just undeniably that way. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, is this her thinking? He's, no, him. He's starting to like regret it as she got closer. And when it was time to kiss, it was a relief because he understood that the physicality between them was undeniable. And there was a familiar, <laughs> a familiarity nice. because they're familiarers. Familiarers. <laughs> We're familiarers. <laughs> <laughs> was a familiarity to it. <clears throat> it was at least the ghost of something that he had experienced before. Mm. Mm-hmm. There seems to be a lot of this book left. <laughs> what he wanted was to claim her. That echoed through his body with every increasing insistence as they socialized, ate cake, and pretended to be amused by the shock commentary of their guests regarding the change in their relationship. But what it really was was a slow burn, a smolder, a promise of what was to come. He had a surprise for her. I'm sure he does. (laughs) Uh, She's going to hate it. (laughs) They would be going back to Iceland. (laughs) Like, oh. oh. I bought your old prison cell. (laughs) I'm taking you back. You got to sleep on that couch (laughs) made of stone again. (laughs) (laughs) And they would be spending three days in his bed doing nothing else. (laughs) Wait. Wait. (laughs) But letting him claim her. Oh, you're mine. (laughs) All right. Um, He had meals prepared and very few clothes. He would get this intense need for her out of his system, and then things would go back to the way they had been. Because he could could divorce her. (laughs) Yeah, because he. This meant nothing to him. This wedding, the first wedding he had ever been to, which happened to be his own, and she meant nothing to him. It was easy to feel a sense of affection for Olive, but that was part of who she was. She engendered engendered that response in everybody he could see it here mm-hmm. so he's still like i don't give a fuck yeah peace out me and my boys i wonder out but if you don't care then why not even cheat like are you gonna cheat of course that's so stupid <clears throat> of course probably today she he said, said it earlier he's got <laughs> the he's like fuck another girl right now yeah and then he was like that was the smart move of her to not have any bridesmaids yeah i don't have any bridesmaids like, why because he's already fucked all the stewardesses hey that's a good idea for a porn a bridesmaid like orgy like situation. Mm. That's probably happened. It's not an orgy if there's one guy in a bunch. Was that a, sh- a k- um a gangbang? No, 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 no. <laughs> when you are like a king or queen or whatever, and you have your. <clears throat> I just saw what? something about it the other day. I don't know, dude. Your entourage. No, something. Damn it! All right, there's it's, it's a thing. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll trust you. All right. This is beautiful, she said. Yes, he agreed. He had not been noticed until she had turned away from him at the wedding, but her gown had no back. The torment of all that bare (laughs) skin. (laughs) It's not actually supposed to be like that. He just doesn't tell her, though. (laughs) All right. The torment of all that bare skin when she had to behave when he'd had to behave himself, had been impossible. What was it about her that bewitched him so? Bewitched him. Olive seemed to turn over her own motivations endlessly, the motivations of others. And when she spoke of them, she made him understand in a way he had never understood himself. He wanted only to strip her naked now, forget dinner. Because he all- wanted to see <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> because all of this <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is going to haunt me for like a week. I'm going to hear this all the time now. Uh, <clears throat> because all of this overthinking. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there was. <laughs> was beginning to get to him and he did not have any patience for it <laughs> all right oh my god man skip this there's so much more um <clears throat> they talk about the dress it's distracting he wants <laughs> it's just distracting it's a wedding dress <laughs> <laughs> and it's supposed to be like the centerpiece of the event mm. Um, she said that she wanted to dress for him so that he th thought she was beautiful. And he said, of course, I think you're beautiful. The problem is I think you are beautiful. <laughs> Even when you wear your black turtlenecks, I may not like them, but I am powerless against the desire so that you create I in my body. thought you were going to get married in a black turtleneck. <laughs> Whatever you have on or off. She flushed with pleasure and he was pleased for having been the one to create the response in her. Such a unique little olive, singular and bright and his irrevocably <laughs> irrevocably <laughs> irrevocably irrevocably his it's a harem what? thank you mason it's a harem. What's when, a harem when you are like one king or prince or one person and then you get all the other of the other gender around you like it's not an orgy because an orgy is a mix of multiple people or oh, just one you. sex of a ton of people a harem is like you're a queen, you're a king, and you have a shit ton of lovers. I got you. And maybe they could be mixed gender lovers, but it's really like you're the singular. Like, that's what I want. Oh, I got you. You know, like attention seekers. and From like a whole nation of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's really like if there was, um, you know, a, le a ruler. No, I, I get have. you. It's like uh, a rooster what was in the, a house. What, it, was it on the dictatorship movie? I don't Did remember. he have a harem? Probably. Didn't you? Didn't they walk in on him and he had a bunch of people, but then he also had a beheaded head or something? I don't remember. It's been a long time. The dictator, <clears throat> something like that. He yeah. was pretty funny. Yeah, I don't don't really remember it. Yeah, but a harem. <sighs> I believe we can take our dinner later. He said. He pulled her up against him, pressing his hands flat to her bare back. She felt like heaven, like silk and cream, and uniquely his olive. Little olive, he said, biting her lower lip. She gasped. Rolling biting her, her lower She olive. actually tastes like an olive. She tastes like an olive. <laughs> um, olive, I want to take you away in my olive. <laughs> to olive. <laughs> she gasped, rolling her body against him in that particular way she did. He loved that about her. It was not a move born out of experience, but rather she simply did what seemed to feel good to her, and she did it with abandon. She did it out of desire. It soothed something in him to know that she was as caught up in all this as he was. You like my dress, she whispered. It's distracting as hell, he said, and don't think I didn't notice that it's your preferred style. Her entire face lit up. She laughed, and she looked at him like no one else ever had. You noticed. That delights me. I love that you noticed. I thought that you would find it both amusing and be slightly relieved that I didn't wear black. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. She kissed him like he was everything, like they were everything. She was bolder now, which seemed surprising, since she had been quite the forward little thing even the first time. But now she touched him with the familiarity of what was being built between them, like she knew just how to set him on fire, and she did. And it was strange. <laughs> she set him on fire? <laughs> And it That'd was, be an awesome ending to this book. <laughs> it was a strange thing. The sudden urgency that and it's gripped like, him. I'm keeping my own company. You're dead. I'm buying your company. I'm keeping this baby. I'm naming it after myself. <laughs> that gripped him to make love to his bride. His bride. And this was the old ways, the old sense of possession, of having... That was the over, that was what overtook him now. He stripped his clothes off as quickly as possible and naked carried her into the bedroom. She clung to his shoulders, her lips parted, her eyes wide with pleasure. There were furs on his bed, plush and soft, and he laid her down and l looked his fill. L look. He just <laughs> looked at her. <laughs> <He> just <laughs> Don't move. That's how I'm filled. I want to paint you like one of my uh, Icelandic chicks. <laughs> Big he, and burly. He, <laughs> no. he wanted to see her naked. Of course he did. But it was not what he wanted most of all. Not now. What he wanted most of all was to have her in Just that a gown. quick blowy. He <laughs> 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 He 
He moved his hands down to where the fabric skimmed her ankles and pushed it up past her knees, up to her waist, exposing the white lace panties she wore beneath. He moved his fingertips over that flimsy fabric and watched as her hips jerked up off the bed. Watched as she... <laughs> jerked? Like, like she surprised a horse? Like he like, accidentally put a finger ah. in a booty hole. And she was like, woo! <laughs> woo! Off limits, mister. Yeah, you're not supposed to touch that. <laughs> watched as she lost herself in the rhythm of his touch as he devoted himself only to her pleasure. He pulled her panties off, leaving her bare, spread her legs wide and looked his fill in that wedding dress, white and for him, only him, a virgin, his virgin bride. No, Wait, she isn't. He hit it twice already. I know. No, she isn't. Anyway, so they do a lot of sexy sex stuff. At the end. Um, and they spent the next few days like that. There was no reason to wear clothes. There was no contact with the outside world. It was simply the two of them lost in a reality that could not be contained outside of this place. Mm. Um, so oh. she said to him later, I have a little bit something different planned tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she takes, I read about it on the internet. It's called pegging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she takes him down to the hot springs because uh-huh. they're back in Iceland. Right. Um, she takes him down to the hot springs and she just gets all sexy with him. Um, I don't want to tell you all the sex scenes or you might never want to read the book yourself. Mm. Uh, So she gets on top of him, rides him. They both feel love between them. And like, she's like, I love you. So they do in the hot springs. Yeah. And then he doesn't say, I love you back. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Is that the end? No, (laughs) no, 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 no. Um, But it does make her start wanting to leave. You know, so she's like getting packed and she's going to go home. She's like, look, I'll stay married to you. I'll keep this kid where you can like have full on visitation as much as you want. But like, I'm not going to live with you and live this way. I want to be loved. Yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like, my heart was turned to stone long ago. It can't be fixed. Okay. So she leaves and he's stood frozen. He doesn't know what to do, but it dawns on him. Um. He was a man who had been all around the world, but there was one last journey he had to take. Mm -hmm. So that's chapter 16. So I'm going to wrap this up for you by explaining a little bit of what he's doing. So throughout this book, I haven't talked a lot about it, but he has mentioned how bad he felt that he left his grandparents at 14 to go live with his rich dad because he was looking for some fulfillment in that relationships. Mm -hmm. And the grandparents died without him there. And, you know, now he's running this company, does hates his dad. His dad's dead now, blah, blah, blah. And so she at one point, like, just, just crying. And she's like, I want that home in the cabin in the woods with the fire in the mm-hmm. and so basically she leaves he helicopters to his old grandparents house where he hasn't been in years you know he's like blowing dust off the countertops and there's like a pipe that's not been used it's like a bong <laughs> the oldest grandpa's bong <laughs> it's made of wood <laughs> but um <laughs> so he i think basically just wants to get the house all fixed up for her and he's healing some trauma in himself so that he can be more available to her in a loving way Mm -hmm. um in his head at one point um if he wanted love olive was right he had to let it go to keep what warmed him and to set aside what hurt him she had always been there the only good thing the only healing thing waiting to be ready waiting for him to be ready They were more than a miracle. They were fate, but fate was not going to chase him down. He was going to have to do some work no matter how hard it might be. So he's talking to himself in the house, telling his grandparents he's sorry and blah, blah, blah. Olive had been willing to risk herself to tell him that she loved him, and he hadn't risked a damn thing for her. Olive was the brave one. She was the one that was honest. He did not deserve her. He was not worthy of her. And so anyway, he's like, light into the darkness. And And he, okay. He goes to her. Oh, she's like crying and she's like ready to leave. But she stands up, turns around, and he's standing there in the doorway. His eyes ice blue. Something in her shifted. She felt as if they were standing in a boardroom ready to be able to have the biggest negotiation of their Mm, life. They're about to sell the baby. Okay. I cannot stay if you don't love me. You can't or you won't. I'm no longer willing to sacrifice myself to the needs of others. I will not do it. Uh, I want to be loved, and yes, I want all of this for my child, but I want it for myself as well. I need it for myself. I need to have this. He says, I am willing. 
And he said it as if it was a forfeited business and her whole heart turned to stone. But then she runs forward, closing the distance between them and kissing him on the mouth. I need to show you something, he whispered, and he uh, takes her to that house and blah, blah, blah. Uh, Okay. He kissed her then deep and hard. Yes, you were, you were. I love you. I love you too. There must be, Olive thought, a German word for that unbearable feeling of caring for someone so very much you thought you might break apart. And then she realized there were no words for it. There was only this, only two hearts that had long stood divided on opposite sides of the boardroom that had become one over time and would stay one because of the miracle of love. Interesting. And I think that when we record our next episode, I'll read the end epilogue of this because it actually tells you about like a few years later um, because I don't think we have time to read it now. So. All right. Anyway, thanks for listening to the Billionaire's Baby Negotiation. Listen to our next episode at the beginning of whatever horrible book we pick to read. I will read the epilogue of this one just to finish you off. Ooh. Yeah. Bye. Bye. If you want more where this came from, follow, like, and subscribe. We're on Insta and TikTok at Bustles and Bangers. Or you can find us personally on Insta and TikTok at GypsyDanger317.